Hello and welcome to this standing sequence. Hey Maya, <laughs> welcome to the sequence. Uh, my name is Ireland. I'm going to do a behind the chair sequence. So if you are at work and you're behind the chair, then you can grab your chair. Or if you're not with a chair, you're not at work, that's cool too. You can do this. And so this is down dog with a chair. If you know how to do down dog without a chair, that's amazing and you have the space to do it. But for the sake of this practice, grab your chair. You're gonna put your hands on here and for just a second, we're gonna ground down before getting into this pose. So you can put your hands on your chair or you can just stand here for a second. Maybe put your hands on your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let it go. Take another deep breath in. Noticing what's around you. If there are people around you, if you feel okay, go ahead and grab your chair. Your hand's gonna be gently on the, sh the shoulder part of it. And just take a couple of steps back and make sure that your back is kind of straight to begin with. Your feet can be hip distance apart or a little bit wider but you're just gonna breathe, lengthening your spine. And then as you exhale, allow your body to give into gravity. And you'll know you're doing it if you feel it in your hamstrings. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Relax your neck and your jaw. You can bend one knee, bend the other knee and go back and forth at your own pace. Whatever feels good for you. I am just a guide here, so you know what's best for your body, just like I know what's best for my body. One more big breath in, get your flat back. Exhale and release, bend your knees a little bit and then slowly begin to walk yourself up to a standing position. And then for pyramid pose with a chair, you're gonna put one foot forward. I'm putting my left foot forward and I'm bringing my right foot back. My hands are still on the chair and my feet are kind of like railroad track distance apart. And I'm just going to lean forward as much as my body feels like it's okay. As long as my body does not feel like there's any shooting pains or numbness or extreme discomfort, then you're on the right track. So inhale and lengthen. Exhale. For me, it feels good to put my head on the chair. So I'm just going to rest my head here for a second. And breathe into the sensation that I feel along the back line of my leg. As someone that's working behind a chair, we spend a lot of time standing in one position. So it's really important to just get some breath into those muscles that help support us all day. Deep breaths in and out. Just like I tell my clients every day, your breath is the tool that can help you. So as long as you're keeping a steady, smooth, and deep breath, then you're doing all right and you're safe. As your next exhale, come back up to standing. Do what you need to do to release that. So maybe some shoulder rolls, some body movement, and then with your right foot forward, bring your left foot back. You're switching sides now. So pyramid pose with the right leg forward. My hands are still on the chair. I'm gonna inhale. Notice the sensations that I'm feeling along the back line of my leg and then exhale into it. 
If you feel like you're tensing with any of this, then you can come up a little bit more because that's your body sign of telling you, hey, you're going too far, too fast. So don't compare yourself to the yogi that you see on screen or any yogi that is around you because you're on your own unique journey and your own unique path. So it's going to look different for you than it will for me. But all that matters is that you're finding the pose where it needs to find you today. Keep that deep, deep breath going. And you can do this with a regular chair too. You don't need a barber chair <laughs> or a couch or a table or some to support you. I love doing this when there's no one in my chair because it allows me to use my chair as a tool for me. One more deep breaths on that. And then I'm back up to center. Maybe shake out your legs a little bit. So for a quad stretch, this is really simple. You've probably seen this in like gym class. You're just gonna grab your foot. And notice if this is accessible to you. If it's not, that's totally fine. You can grab a strap or a towel or anything of the sorts and maybe loop it around like this and extend your reach. But for my sake today, I am in a place where I can just grab the back of my foot. And I'm still holding on to the chair because it's helping me to support myself and maintain my balance. So you can use a chair if you want to, if you want to challenge that. Breathing into this quad muscle right here, I can feel it all the way along my hip. So if you're standing in place for a long period of time, notice what this feels like. Breathe into it. This is definitely a pose that I come back to often when I'm at the shop. Just stand here for a few seconds. I know if you're moving around a lot, you probably don't have a lot of time to do this. And that's kind of, we're switching sides now. So moving to the left side, grabbing your left foot. If you don't have a lot of time and that seems to be the reason that you tell yourself you don't stretch, this is a quick little thing that you can do. I like to, with all of these poses that I'm showing you, I will take them as little movement snacks throughout my day. So say I have a second or maybe there's someone in my chair at the moment and I can't do a full routine, I can still just grab my leg for a second. Take a deep breath, let it go. And maybe I wanna lean forward a little bit if that feels good. Notice what's coming up. And then release, shake out your legs. Or a figure four. This has been my go-to for the past week or so. Um, you're going to bring your right foot to your right knee if this is accessible for you today. If not, you can sit down and do this too. And if you feel a lot of sensation right here, then you can just stay right here. But if you feel like you can take a little bit more sensation, go ahead and start to sit back into your hips, kind of like you're sitting into a chair. I'm still using my chair to maintain my balance so that this is not so much of, it is still a balancing pose, but I'm using this to support myself so that I am not relying so much on my core strength, especially if I'm in a position where my, say my hip is really hurting, my SI joint or something along the sorts where Something I've been experiencing recently is that my feet will start tingling. So I will do this to help bring some sensation back and release that tension that I'm feeling up in my hip. 
keeping a deep breath going. Just one more deep breath in and out. Release, shake out your legs, switch sides, bringing your right knee, right ankle, no, your left ankle to your right knee. Begin to sit back in your hips. Or this figure four. Relax your shoulders if you can. Relax your jaw. Notice what your body feels like it needs to do if you need to come out of it because you're going too far too fast or if you feel like you can sit down a little bit lower. Wherever you find yourself, take deep breaths into your hip area. And release. One more deep breath in. And then exhale. And let it all go. Shake your legs. And then some ankle stretches. So I'm going to use this wall to balance myself a little bit. Bring one foot up my right foot right now, and then take ankle circles or toe circles in one direction, going to the right about five more times. Back to center and going the opposite direction a few times. As you're standing on your feet a lot, it's good to get some blood flow moving in them. So these ankle stretches are really great for when your feet are feeling tired and you don't have time to sit down and stretch them out or get a foot massage. So bring your foot back to center and just flex your foot towards your face. And then point your foot down to the ground. Let's go back and forth. Bring your foot back down to the ground. Maybe wiggle it out a little bit. Bring your left foot up. I'm going to challenge myself with my balance here. Maybe you can too. Engage your core. Bring your foot out in front of you and start taking some ankle circles in one direction. I'm going to the right. Take about five more. And it's always great for you to be able to get a massage regularly, but something that I find so beneficial is to be able to do movements and then switch directions to do movements to allow your body to relax with your own guidance. Because, I mean, I'm someone that does massages and I am not going to go home with my clients. So... If I can teach you how to do some movements to help yourself, then it's going to be way more beneficial to you in the long run. Bring your foot back to center and then bring your toes to point towards your face. It's going to be way more beneficial for you in the long run to do these movements as you go along than it would be to just get, point your foot down to the ground to get a massage once a month because you live in your body every day. Bring your foot pointed to your face and then point it down towards the ground, up to your face, down to the ground. That was a little bit on my standing legs. So thank you for joining me today for this lower body flow. If you would like to see more of this, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Ireland and that's it. So welcome to my suite. Welcome to Yoga Behind the Chair. I'll see you later. Peace.